I think people are craving a little bit more of a, a natural material. If you're around anodized aluminum all the time, it's, it's kind of cold. That was what kind of sparked the idea of Grove in the first place. The place where high-tech and low-tech come together is part feel and part function. You get an Apple iPhone or an iPad and you get one scratch and it's like, oh. The co-founders of Grove teamed up in 2009. Ken, an accomplished bamboo craftsman, and Joe, a laser engraving expert and jack of all trades. We had this crazy idea to, to make the best iPhone case in the world. We figured it'd, it'd be pretty awesome to, to clad this cold aluminum and glass brick with this warm material that you know patinas over time, um, you know soaks in your your hand oils, and you know just just really gets better over time. Bamboo is actually uh, dimensionally stable compared to regular wood, so it's a natural pick for our first case. And after that first case, Grove grew as quickly as the bamboo it was made out of. Their success is owed to a drive to constantly innovate. We've learned how to engineer our products to be more durable, to use the natural materials for their strengths. The huge leap was for the iPhone 5. We started reinforcing the entire case. That, of course, is a lot more technically challenging. We have to machine one part, machine another part, glue them together perfectly, and then remachine them. Grove has found a niche and developed a reputation for their unique ability to precisely craft natural materials. It's, it's really important uh, for us to be competitive um, making things in America that we're really good at making things. But when your main product is a case for the annually updated iPhone, you also need to be able to design and build a new case very quickly. Uh, everybody wants it, everybody wants it fast. That's very challenging to figure out the new, the new specs and modify our products to work with the new devices. And we either have to guess or be really fast, and we're really fast. I think it actually plays to our strengths, you know? This is a great example. Um, Joe and I have been talking about an iPad case for a long time. When Apple released the iPad Mini Retina, Grove raced to develop a new design. We basically figured out the specs for the new iPad and worked around the clock to make a, a photo-ready prototype. While that was happening, we were setting up the website. So from beginning to end, it was about a week from a napkin drawing to this is functioning and it's on our website and it's for sale. Even though they make iPhone cases, Grove's founders don't consider it a tech company, but they don't see their products as retro either. I don't care if it's an old technique or if it's a really modern mechanized technique. To us, we're about just doing the best job possible. And if that means doing it by hand, we're going to do it by hand. If that means machines are doing it, we're going to use machines. Grove's Apple-centric product line continues to grow and now includes iPhone docks and wooden backs. And the selection of laser-etched art to personalize the cases is expanding too. What started as a bold idea to create the world's best iPhone case has developed into something more. It comes from a personal desire to just have a, a better experience with the objects that are dear to us. And the combination of precision and feel engineered into Grove's cases is second to none.